All right, here's a summary slide. The summary slide is showing you all of the shifts that can come about in supply and demand based on the buildup of the supply function and the demand function from before. Now, let me go talk first about the supply function over here. And notice, I've got this rightward, left, downward shifting arrow here re referring to the supply function and essentially saying that the supply will shift down because of lower costs of production because of falling input prices and improving technology. All right, that's caused a downward or rightward shift to the supply function. But it's going to shift right if there's a decrease in the future price expectations and if there's an increase in the total number of firms supplying the market in this particular product. All right, and so these changes are going to cause rightward shifts in the supply curve. Up here, it says reverse is going to move in the opposite direction. And that means an increase in input prices. I'm changing what's below. A decrease in technology. You lose knowledge somehow. An increase in future prices. And a decrease in the number of firms. Okay, so those are the reverse changes, and those are going to cause the supply curve to shift left or upward, depending on your inclination there. Okay, but demand is going to shift around potentially as well in response to changes in substitute goods, prices of complement goods, household income, future price again. So notice future prices here and future prices here. We've got it in both the demand function and the supply function. We've got future income, which only affects demand, not the individual supply. And we've got the number of consumers or buyers in the marketplace. Now, Listen up carefully. This is an important point. Whenever we ask you a question about how is this going to affect the equilibrium price or quantity in a marketplace, we'll stimulate, or the problem will start with some sort of a change that's taking place. Your first thought should be the change that's being suggested, does it affect the supply of the market or does it affect the demand for the market in the market? Okay? The first thing you do is demand shifter or supply shifter, or both in the case of the change in the future price. But you have to determine how it's going to affect either consumers or producers. And that's one of the big things we're doing in this in economics is we're separating the decisions of the firms from the consumers and recognizing that they make their decisions independently of each other, but then they come together in the market. And it's when they come together in the market to exchange goods with each other that prices are determined and quantities are ultimately determined and a market takes place, okay? But changes in the market are gonna first be influences on the behavior of either consumers or the behavior of firms and things are gonna affect them differently. So for example, if the input prices change for the firms, if they have to pay more for steel, for example, because a tariff has been put on imports of steel, well, that doesn't affect the demand decisions at all. Consumers don't care about what the price of steel is. It doesn't affect their desire to purchase products that have steel contained within them. All right, so the cost of producing a good is not something that's knowledge or information that's, that's even known to the consumer, and it's certainly nothing that the consumer is going to react to. Now, the consumer is going to be influenced by that eventually, but it'll be influenced through the mechanics of supply and demand. The changes in input prices, the price of steel in a production process, will affect the decisions of the firms. That's going to affect the supply function itself and the position of the supply, which will in turn affect the price that prevails in the market, and that in turn will affect consumers. So consumers will feel the effect, but it's not, they're not going to be acting on the, on the stimulus itself. They're going to be reacting to changes that are made as a re result of that stimulus. And that's the kind of uh, process that you need to learn. That's how we analyze the effects or changes in a marketplace.